and Kim Hybrix here in the Austrian Darts Open in Vienna and we've just seen two top players go at it in the previous match just about recovering from that one Paul Nicholson joins me in the commentary box to talk us through Taylor against Hybrex but first just sum up what you've just witnessed in Clatton and Kyle Anderson best game of the weekend by an absolute mile for me I mean we've had some great performances I think Steve West on Friday was the performance of the day yesterday it was obviously Van Gogh with a just shy of 110 average in beating Johnny Clayton but that game had a lot going for it it had high averages had lots of 180s it had a drama and it had 11 legs so it was everything that you really want to see from a, a darts fan's perspective and Yeller will be disappointed that he didn't get through to the next stage but what he can be buoyed with is the fact that he is playing very very well but we're going to see more of Kyle Anderson later yeah which player of these two will be seeing more of later Phil Taylor, the lowest seeded player out of these two. Kim Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First leg is Phil to throw first. Game on. Yeah, Kim Hybrex is the number five seed. And he picked up a European Tour win at the end of last year. One of his two victories on the European Tour. Two years away for Phil Taylor before he returned and beat Steve West yesterday. I think as you noticed in Kim's face, he looks pretty aggressive today. He's not going to be afraid of taking an aggressive game to Phil. We know that about him. He's said it. Had a very interesting conversation, you and I, with Kim in the practice room earlier today about some remarks that we said yesterday about him 100. stealing my way of going for 142 and calling him my nemesis. Well, I don't lie. Yeah, leave me out of it, Paul. Remarks that you said. I'll absolutely 59. leave you out of it then. But we had a smile on our face and we had a good laugh about it. Yeah, you've had some good old battles with both of these two players. Certainly have. You know, Phil, probably a few more. Definitely in his favour, but I've got a couple of really 60. good ones in the bank. With Kim, it's only one win against a hell of a lot of defeats. Well, that's his record against Phil Taylor as well. One win versus 58. nine defeats. Quite an intriguing match, really, because you think about it, Phil hasn't played on the European Tour a lot at all in the last few years. 60. But Kim's been here every time, so he's used to being here on the Sunday afternoon. And that familiarity might help him in this game. 96. The yeah, Hybrex's two TV finals resulted in feats, defeats to a, well, Team Taylor. One of them was a World Cup with his brother Ronnie for Belgium, losing out to England. 96. And the Players' Championship Finals back in 2012. Yeah, Kim played really well that week. Really troubled Taylor earlier in the match. 140. Still really stretched out at the so end. So you require 85. But in this game, it's on throw at the moment. Tried treble 19 for double 14. He's got a bullseye shot now for a 1-0 lead. There game him shot in the first leg. The ball, Phil Taylor. Moved away at the same same time. leg is Kim to throw first. Start game on. The power. No hesitation for Hybrex to get back to the hockey. 140. Yeah, sharp shooting from Phil the Power Taylor. 85 finish on the ball. Kyle Anderson went for the ball at the end of the match. We've just seen for a 170 checkout. That would have been 60. sweet, Paul, wouldn't it? It would have been sweet. I mean, I think even he was laughing after the two treble twenties went in, and the bullseye shot was nowhere near. But he won't be bothered about that. 140. It's a very good angle to watch Kim's darts go in because I think he's maybe the most dangerous player in the world when it comes to a soft dart board and his darts going all the way in and showing no point. I think he's 140 still got behind his throw to be able to score heavily still with that in there. As you can see, can't see the point at all. Doesn't yeah. phase him at all. 100. Yeah, we spoke yesterday about a lot of players switching to longer points. Kim Hybrex did that for a short while. He's gone back to it and um, seems to be effective, as you say. It doesn't seem to stop him filling up that treble. 96. Bed. Yeah, we Kim spoke about Peter Wright tinkering and stuff, and I don't think Kim's been much of a tinkerer over the years. But one thing we do know about Kim is that he's got double eight here. 130. He's coming back for double four. Getting back to our previous point about points is that he went to try the longer version of the point. It didn't suit him. So he went back to what 
he is used to, which is shorter ones. And it's reflected in the 139. He over the last Give me weeks. require eight. So we've got eight points left here. So now he needs double two. Because Taylor's Four hot score. on his heels. The Failure 139 class, 66. Visit left him 66. But he usually goes for the bull on this shot. Did so. 49 he has left. So it may be the same target, just a little lower. Double 16 for a break. Game there it shot is. on the second leg. Full tail. Broken the Belgian's heart there. Third leg is full to throw first. Game on. And getting back to what we were saying about Kim and the new points, or sorry, the old points. He's also gone back to a previous throw where he measures his throw a little bit more. A little bit of a stutter at the top. He did try a more fluid action of just going backwards and forwards for a while, but it just didn't suit him. Form doesn't lie, usually. Yeah, you just see the kind of backswing staggered in the air. It's working fantastically there. 174, as good as a 180 from Kim Hybrex. Three darts in, trebles, big trebles. And Phil Taylor has got two darts in the biggest treble. 140. 140. This is almost like an old school Phil performance at the moment. He's playing a very good opponent. But he's going 77. under the radar a little bit and just picking up the scraps. 85, 66. Not making mistakes on doubles. He's not renowned as the biggest scorer in the world, Phil Taylor. That's never really been his MO. He's always been good at just cleaning up situations when they need to be done. And that's what he's doing 140. In this match. Phil, you require 161. Well, 161 for the power. He's not going to get a shot of the ball in this visit, but he can leave himself. 129. Nice and he does exactly that. Leave his favourite double. But will Hybrex get a shot? He needs a treble now. So Taylor will be back for 32. 58. Same Phil kind of leg like again. 32. Third time in a row. Nothing dramatic. Game shot on the third leg. Full Taylor. Fourth leg is Kim to throw first. Game on. Ninety-nine. There we see no mistake on doubles to fill the power Taylor. Hybrix has had four attempts and uh, not found the target with any of them. Well, that could be a different game if that column there, with the percentage of doubles, 100. was different for Kim. He definitely wouldn't be three 0 down. That's for sure. One hundred. Both players enjoyed six-one victories yesterday. We mentioned Taylor beating Steve West. Highbrex got past Chris Dorby. One hundred. Yeah, two dangerous opponents. Chris Dorby on the up. Steve West playing very well at the moment. Great visit from One hundred sixty-two. It's a tricky, tricky leave. When you go for the 18s on 302, what you're really looking for is 132. One treble 18, one single 18, and a treble 20. 44. But when you have two you there, you really have to hit another treble to leave a finish. And he hit all three. And another one. And another one for double 16. Wow! Oh, Game shot on the fourth leg. Kim Hyman! Double, Hyman. double 16, that's perfection from Hyman. Fifth leg is filled to throw first. Game on. Six darts from 302. That's what it takes to get a leg on the board against Phil Taylor. But what darts from Hybrex? 302 in six darts with no treble 20s. 59. When was the last time we can say we've ever seen that? I don't think we ever have. Yeah, it must be tempted to just carry on in the 18s now because he <laughs> just can't miss. Well, it was that good. 41. But what we were saying about the shorter points earlier on, that just proved it. You know, one of those darts really did cover almost a third of the bed, but he still had the power in his arm to get it in there. 93. Yeah, and he's got the power in his sights now. Phil Taylor was running away with it, but Hybrex just stemmed the tide there. 93. One thing we do know about Kim Hybrex is he's a good fighter, and he can come from a deficit. And he did that in his European, last European tour win against Peter Wright. And what turned out to be an exciting 123. 
Yeah, the European Darts Grand Prix last year. He beat Peter Wright in the final. 140. The first win on the European Tour was the Dutch Darts Masters. Three years ago now. Hard to believe that was three years ago. Forty-five. Ooh, there's I a think chance here. is playing slightly better at the moment, putting a bit more pressure on the Phil Taylor throw. Yep, he's going to be first to one hundred and thirty-five by some distance, unless Phil can leave this handy, which he probably will now. There was a little slip in the hand of the dart there. You'd expect a one forty. One hundred forty. Yeah, what a great Kimmy light. One, now, which way did he go? It's a shield. He needs the treble. Gets it for double eight. Gage on the fifth leg. Kim and the Heinrich. aggression comes out. Sixth leg is Kim to throw now first. Now we're in the game. Done brilliantly. Get back game in this on. match. Full credit to the Belgian. Yeah, he enjoyed that. I can remember a game at the World Championship a couple of years ago. Kim Hybrex played Phil Taylor and... Um, 134. He was roaring his way through that one. Taylor came out on top by one set in the end. But he doesn't leave anything on the stage, does he, Kim Hybrex? Oh, absolutely 99. Not. Good to watch. And Sometimes you... it's difficult to play against, though. As you can see, his average is up there with 96. the likes of Anderson and Klassen from the last match. What was most impressive about that last shot was that when he went the bull route, the bull was actually covered. But then again, he did that yesterday against 100. Chris Dolby, and he hit the bullseye, so he's not afraid to bend it around the side. But by hitting the treble, he had the open bed at the double eight. This could be a fantastic setup shot. Wonderful 171. To leave a ton. And Hybrex from 3-0 down could be back level in the blink of an eye. Well, that's continental thinking right there. That's a lot of... 100. A lot of a sort of Belgian 100. or Dutch or German shot. 171 leaves a ton. Will he go for 16s? Going to leave it handy. 52. But he knows that on 271, if a single 19 hits, what he wants after that is a 60 and a 25, which leaves 167. So it's really good mathematics. Now that last shot going for the 16s, had he stayed 105. on 20, Give me he would have one dart out of double here. Sorry, three darts out of double. He's got two. 32. And he doesn't hit. Phil Uruguay, 97. He could rue that. He really could. Because if Taylor takes this out, that's going to be a kick in the stones. Is he going to go for double 19? 57. I think that was the right thing to Game do. A big 16. bed, worth a go. But Hybrex is back. Game shot, right the sixth middle, leg. Kim Hybrex. Seven leg is filled to throw in first. Where it's really Game close. On. Hybrex, about eight above Phil in the averages. But we said yesterday, averages can lie sometimes. The most important column here is that it's three all. One hundred and forty. Could prove vital later in this match. Yeah, we are being treated to some terrific 96. Tunstan in this Austrian Darts Open this afternoon. There's some fantastic matches to come, Paul. Apart from this, what else are you looking forward to today? To be honest with you, I think the one after this. 100. Um, Dave Chisnell against Stephen Bunting for me. I think the way that Chizzy played last night. I mean, there were lots of shakes of the head from Jamie Cave and just backstage because Chizzy was absolutely delightful. 81. And Jamie's playing fantastically well at the moment, so... Chizzy looks comfortable on the European stage, and he's got a game against one of his best mates today in Stephen Bunting. I'm really looking forward to that game. 85. Michael Van Gerwen already through. He'll face Kyle Anderson. The winner of this plays, the winner of the next one, and will this be the first match? 140. The race for the world match play is getting a bit hot now. 100. Kyle Anderson winning that match against Klassen could well be vital for his entire season and to the detriment of other players. 84. Phil, you require 76. We'll definitely see these two at the world match play. They're looking to regain the lead with double eight. It's a That's complete a 76 combination. 
Game show on the seventh leg. Full time. Great leg is Kim to throw first. Game on. Lie. Absolutely brilliant. Probably easier to, to, uh, to hit that than miss it. 80. If you've ever stood behind Phil Taylor and see how his darts fly, it almost defies physics. But ballistically, it's as perfect as it look as it is, as it can get. Just like that. 180! Believe it or not, that's the first 180 of the match. I'm sure it won't be the last. 140! We have had three darts in the treble 18 from Highbreak. Three in the treble 19 from Highbreak. We've just had three in the treble 20 from Taylor. And now we've done it again. Phil, Phil the power Taylor is no stranger to perfection. Having not hit a maximum before in the match, he's just Phil hit two in the row 141. 141. This could be some way to announce your return to the European Tour. Come on, Phil, we want this! Double 12! Oh, 170! Big smile on his face, though. Great attempt. Incredibly close. 82. Phil Uruguay, 24. Still on for a 10 dart, though. Game and he gets shot it. Eight leg. Boom, and he moves ahead. Ninth leg is filled with throw first. Legs, and within one of a place in the last eight. Well, that's Game what on. It took to actually get that leg from Hybrex. He was still in that leg. <laughs> Incredible dart from Phil Taylor, and he's at it again. We've had a He's lot. He's at it again. We've had a lot of great 140. Again, but people are starting to warm up now. We've had good games, good, tight, solid games, but now the standard is lifting. 140. How many 10 daughters have we seen this weekend already? An absolute bunch load. Well, if this, if this is these players warming up, Paul. Well, we've seen it before. Michael Van Gerwen. 58 most of the time does average around the 100 and above. But he usually saves his best for the finals. One final, I believe. 96. 117. Yeah, against Gary Anderson. Both these players averaging over 100 themselves, and Phil Taylor has left that dart in a perfect position to build and hit. And 100 and well, the way Phil's playing at the moment, he will not want this match to end because he's playing absolute delicious darts at the moment. 95. Phil, you require 123. He's sensible from Hybrex to leave the 170 shot on the 19s there. But will it be as easy as 1, 2, 3 for Taylor? No, it won't. He's going to get a poke at it. And he's going to have 91. to hit it because he's on the double. 170. Do or die for the Belgian. Ninety-nine. Phil, you require thirty-two. Well, Phil Taylor's rarely made a mistake on doubles in this match, and he Game doesn't make a mistake the there. Phil, Phil Taylor. Taylor, Taylor, almost perfect in the Austrian Darts Open, beats Kim Hybrex six-three, moves into the quarterfinals where he will face Chisner Bunting tonight. A wonderful display. This is a fabulous return to European Darts action from Phil Taylor. For four hundred amateurs in two matches, that's pretty impressive. If you're in the crowd, you're going to be loving this standard. Absolutely sensational from Phil Taylor. Vielen Dank, Kim Hybrex. Everybody's talking about Michael Van Gerwen. Er hat sich But we're going to talk about Phil Taylor now. Gewehrt gegen diese Niederlage. Aber am Ende war es Phil Taylor, der einmal mehr nicht zu bezwingen war. Congratulations, Phil. Hello, George. <laughs> in the eighth leg, you already threw a nine daughter. It would have been a perfect present for all your supporters out there. Thank you. I, I would have loved to, yeah. If Russ Bray had been choking, it would have been in. So, but it wasn't in. It was close. All right. Also, er hätte diesen neuen Dater natürlich gerne euch auch uh, zum Geschenk gemacht. Leider, leider war es halt wirklich, yeah, around there. That was close. <laughs> Phil, yesterday you told me um, you love Austria. Did you have, or will you have, the chance to see some of the highlights of this beautiful city? Or is it only hotel, practice room, and here album stage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't, you don't... When I retire, yes, I'm going to go... I'm going to take Karen, and we're going to go all through Austria, right to Switzerland, all through the Alps, and 
it's, it's beautiful. It is a beautiful country, and you're very, very lucky people, to be honest with you. We don't have this in the UK, so I think eventually, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll go. I want to go to Italy. I want to see it all around Rome and places like that, places we've never had a chance to see. So I will do that when I, when I retire. Thank you, and good luck for the evening. Well, maybe if you want. <laughs> maybe. <laughs>